Good morning, and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. <clears throat> Yesterday, we worked together to uh, remember uh, someone in our lives, to call someone uh, to mind, uh, uh, perhaps even ourselves, who's currently suffering with addiction. We also joined together uh, with resolve to see what we can do to help that person get the help that they need. And uh, we emphasize the fact that the story of addiction is not the story for others uh, alone, it's the story of all of us. We're all in this together. <clears throat> what I'd like to do uh, for a few minutes today is to offer you uh, a bit more about my own introduction to the reality of addiction uh, on a very personal level and at a far deeper level. You, say I, you see, I had practiced as a clinical psychologist for decades before I realized I myself had become addicted, first to alcohol, and then finally also to prescription medications. Um, and while I'm on that, I, I do want to own up to during midlife, also fully experimenting with all manner of recreational drugs. I, I came uh, much later than most people do to addictive behaviors, but I think I caught up pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so that's one piece. There's another piece, and that is that I had worked for uh, decades in private practice, and I had worked a lot with addiction. In fact, the latest statistics are that up to one half of clients that come to see a therapist in outpatient practice are coming in already clinically addicted to alcohol and other drugs. <clears throat> Although they didn't come in saying that, any idea why not? I think we've already established and we'll go more deeply into this in the next uh, few podcasts. There's such huge personal shame and cultural or societal stigma around addiction. Who would want to come into a mental health professional and admit it, right? So it is that clients would come in and talk about wanting to address their marriages or their parenting or their jobs or sometimes depression or anxiety but far less often would come in initiating a conversation about addiction. Uh, I'd like you to come back tomorrow, and what I'd like to do is actually provide even more detail about how radically things changed for me once my own active addiction became front and center, when I could no longer ignore it, so that I moved from somebody who was working with addiction, and it was other people's problems, so to speak, to where I was facing my own addiction, and uh, it was my problem. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a good day. Come back tomorrow.